Hi everybody. It's Monday night, so it means it's time for Stamping with Denise. Hope everybody had a great weekend. We're going to give a second here and let folks find us. There we go. Okay, so hopefully we get a few people on here. Um, I had a great weekend. Um, a lot of you know I went this weekend was the lot the event that Stampin' Up has twice a year, where they invite demonstrators to come. We get to see the new catalog, get to play with new products, see what's up, you know, what new things Stampin' Up has for the following year. So I was, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina this weekend with two other demonstrators who are my friends. That's Chris and Annie, and you just never know. They might be on here or watch it later, but we had a great time. Weather was nice. I felt bad for our um, some of our friends who went to Minneapolis because they had a hard time um, getting in and out. They had some you know, weather issues and things like that. So, anyway, I'm trying to get, okay, so, um, hopefully I've got everything ready. If you'll do me a favor, be sure to like my video and share my video, and if you do, you get a chance to win the card we work on tonight. And the winner from last week's project that we worked on, this happy birthday card, this is going to go to Shannon Jenkins. So, Shannon, I know where to find you. I will be sure to get this out in the mail to you in the next day or so. Congratulations and thank you so much for sharing my video. Um, if the comments in the bottom are in the way, you can just swipe them off to the side. And then if you want them back, you can just swipe them back the other way. Okay, so I'm going to... I thought I'd put a real quick card together for you and then take a few minutes to show you some of the stuff from, that I got from on stage. Okay, so why don't I um, put the phone up in the, the camera up in the holder and we'll get started on a cute, simple Easter card. But I think you could be, you could use it for other things too. So hang on here. Okay. And like I said, Easter's this coming Sunday, but it may be that you're going to have to um, put something together real quick because you forgot somebody that you need to send a card to. So I wanted to share this cute little, little card, kind of a punch art card. Um, I use some of our... Oh, what's this paper called? Garden Impressions paper for the background. Believe it or not, these little bunnies with the ears were made with the daisy punch. And it was just as simple and easy as can be. So it doesn't take any time to put together. So I think what I'll do is I'll do that real quick and then I will um, we'll get together or I'll show you some of the stuff from on stage. So... The base is so saffron, and that's our usual just ha half of an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Cut in half, you know, it's cut in half, and then we fold it in half, and there you go. Get my bone folder and put that down. There we go. Make a nice crease. Um, the mat I've done in shaded spruce, which is four by five and a half inches. And then, like I said, this is some of the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper, and it's cut at three and three quarters by five. I really do love this paper. I'm gonna be sad to see it go. It has some great floral designs. I could have probably used any of them for this card, but I just kind of thought with these um, flowers like this, it looked like the bunnies were playing in the um, garden. 
I mean, it's super simple. There's only a little bit of stamping. Okay, let's get this straight. Like I said, oh shoot, come on. There we go. So yeah, I got home midday Sunday, and today was a really busy day at work, so I'm hoping I have everything out for this cute, quick little project. Put this base on. I'm gonna tell you, this is so simple. Okay, there we go. The little strip across the front, you could do it in, in another color if you want to, but this is so saffron, and it's one by five and a half inches in size. And I'm using a greeting from the Itty Bitty Greeting Stamp Set. And this, this one says Easter Greetings. But you could put any, any greeting you wanted. And I'm glad to see that that Itty Bitty Greetings is carrying over into the new catalog. And I'll talk about the retiring list, or last chance list as they called it. Okay, and the ink I used on that was Blueberry Bushel. Let me put that away so I'll get ink. Okay, so to the fun part. Let's show you, you know, the good old Daisy Punch that we've ha had for a while and been using. Here we go. And we're going to put it in here. I try to get all of the, the round center part of the Daisy, but that's really all you need. Okay. And then you're going to take your scissors and kind of round this out. The bottom part's not so does it, it's not so important that it be rounded. But you know the two that are up close, you know, up as you get up closer to his head or to his ears, you want to make sure it's a little bit round. There you go. So, I just the bunnies on my my original card, I just used scraps of some of the paper colors that bunnies would come in. Um, let's see, where where's my thing with the colors that I used? I used, of course, I used some thick whisper white. I used some Sahara sand, used some crumb cake, and this is smoky slate that I'm working with right now. I mean, you could really use any kind of, you know, fur color for lack of a better word. I think that's pretty good. Sometimes it's hard to round it off exactly, but you know what? That's okay. And you know what a little trick you can do if you've got a little edge? You can get a nail file or this is kind of a board they use a thing they use on your nails to kind of if you got any point, you know, sharp sharper edges. So let's get those out. Out of the way, the trash. Whoops. Okay. And now what I found, I already cut some other bunnies out. So you didn't have to wait on me to do all those, but you can see how easy that was. And I've just got a variety of different colors here. So when I made mine, what I did was I just put adhesive all the way across the back of my strip. And then just kind of started placing, you know, bunnies on there, just kind of randomly, you know, no rhyme or reason. And I found that was kind of the easiest way to do it. Let's put another one of these here, or let's put that color there, and we'll put another white one here. There we go. Put those on there. Now, isn't that a really quick, cute, easy bunny card? And like I said, the bottom part of the circle didn't need to have to be didn't have to be perfect because it was going to be hidden. And I just think that's a really cute. And you could put really any greeting. You could put bunnies for another. You know, you could wish someone a happy birthday with bunnies if you wanted to. So um, please share my video, and maybe you'll win this card that I made tonight. 
Okay, so that's nice and quick because I wanted to show you some of the things that I got from on stage. And we did find out the names of the in colors. I don't really have anything with them on it to show you, but I thought I'd tell you that the names of the, um, I can't show you the inside of the catalog. I can show you the outside, but I've got the names on the inside. So that's what our catalog looks like. I think it's somewhat reminiscent of one of our catalogs from the early 2000s. It's a little bit of a throwback. But um, anyway, so those are some, this is a, obviously a nautical theme stamp set. We got to work with that. Um, this one has magnolias. I don't think we didn't do anything with that set. But the, I can't show you the inside, but the names of the new colors are Rococo Rose, which is kind of a dusty rose. We have Terracotta Tile, um, which as you would expect is about the sock color of a terracotta pot. Pretty Peacock, and actually I do have something in that color to show you. Hang on. Okay, I know you're not going to probably be able to see it, but this, this are, these were the bags they gave us at on stage, and this is Pretty Peacock, and I really like this color. Um, I think it's it's kind of a blue green, but it's different than what we have. So, the other two in colors are called Seaside Spray and Purple Posy. Okay, we've got six new colors of blends that we're going to have: the Rococo Rose, the Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, and Purple Posy for our in colors, and then we're gonna get So Saffron and Gray Granite. So the only one of the in colors that won't have blends to go with it is Terracotta Tile, which is kind of sad because I could see using that to, like if you're coloring in flower pots or something like that. Okay, um, I got three new stamp sets. This one is called It Starts With Art. And I think it is a really cute one. I'm gonna get order that it's got some coordinating paper and some embellishments and dies. And so I'm looking forward to using this a little more. This one here is called Celebrate with Cake and it's a nice, simple um, stamp set, especially for someone who's just starting out stamping. That's a good one. Then the third new stamp set I got is called Daisy Lane. And if you're like, that looks familiar, it does. This Daisy Punch cuts out this Daisy, and then we're gonna have a smaller Daisy Punch for this Daisy. And you know what I was thinking when I was making my bunnies with the big Daisy? If you had the smaller Daisy Punch, you could cut out like pink and maybe make the inside of the ears for a little bit of detail. Wouldn't that look cute? So those were the three new stamp sets I got. And then they did give us, get everybody a package of this new DSP. Now let me see. This is called Mosaic Mood Specialty, Specialty Designer Series Paper. Let me pull this out and show you. The colors in this are Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Mint Macaron, Soft Suede, Terracotta Tile, Very Vanilla, and Whisper White. So let me pull this out here. Um, my husband actually likes this paper because it has hummingbirds on it. He likes hummingbirds. So, And I don't know if you can see, but the birds are kind of made out of mosaic and it, the it's kind of glossy, the what's used with, you know, what the birds are made out of. It's kind of got a glossy and it's raised, so it's really pretty. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera or not. The flip side of that looks like a mosaic walkway. I kind of like that. Um, 
this one this one has terracotta tile in it as one of the colors you know it's funny mint macaron mint macaron is not one of my favorite colors but i really do like it when i see it used with things here's the back of that and this paper too it like that the sheet with the hummingbirds it has some glossy glossiness to it and a little bit of texture so it's it's really nice okay oh this one does too they all have a little bit of that texture and that glossiness so you can see where they get the name from it mosaic when i say mosaic oh, too many new names to learn mosaic mood specially specialty designer series paper and now here's some hummingbirds that are just flat that aren't don't have that texture to them and those are pretty too i can see those getting fussy cut out Ooh, isn't this pretty i didn't i kind of miss this i think i love these leaves and this is pretty some roses done in kind of a mosaic this is flat and some butterflies that coordinate with our butterfly stuff punch and duet punch. I wonder if it fits. I wonder if it cuts those out. Probably not. I'll have to play with that and see. It just might. You never know. Oh, and now here's some mosaic roses that have some of the glossiness and texture to them. So they're, it's, they're very similar. You know, it looks like it's pretty very much looks like the same design it's just the colors are different and the fact that the this one has texture and this one doesn't so that's really pretty and i like mosaic so i'm gonna like this and i i especially like this i could see making a i don't know reminds me of a path a like maybe to go down to the water or something like that. I don't know. And then here's the other side of it. And that looks a lot like the other that we saw. Again, the design is the same. The colors are different. And it, this one's flat and this one is glossy. But it coordinates really nicely. And... Oh, and I showed you that side. Okay, great. Um, also, the new, or the, the last chance list. I'm going to pull this down off of the um, rack here and just talk about it for just a second. Um, the um, last chance list came out today, and there's some confusion on it, so I just want to clarify for you. First of all, the... Um, Anything in, in this current catalog that's either available in wood or clear, what we call clear, if it's carrying over, it's carrying over as cling. So the list may look like a lot of things are retiring, but really the stamp set might be staying, but what's changing is the you know, the fact that it's going to be cling rather than wood or clear. So, um, for an example, the, the pig um, stamp set. I think that's on page 33, maybe. Some, for some reason, 30 of the current catalog um, is carrying over. Yeah, this little piggy. This one is carrying over here. But, currently... It says it's, it's either available on wood or clear, but when it's in the new catalog, it's going to be cling. So while this format, that's not the word I'm looking for, is retiring, the stamp set itself is not retiring. So if you have any questions, contact myself or your demonstrator if there's a set you're particularly wondering about. Um, and... Um, Everything's available on a first-come, first-served basis. They said that stamp sets would be available until May 24th, and then after that, um, there would be no guaranteed availability. So I really would encourage you to, um, if there's something you want, 
you need to get it, I wouldn't wait. Also, um, you may, may or may not have heard that our Big Shot is not in the new catalog. St we're still gonna be using a Big Shot, but Stampin' Up! is coming up, is working on a bigger, better um, option for us. And so we are, um, we're gonna still be using the Big Shot for now, but there just won't be a machine for sale at this point. And they're, they're making some changes and they're trying to help us, get, they're getting a new trimmer. Um, there's been some issues with blades. So they're hoping to get that rectified and get us a brand new trimmer. So there's no trimmer in the new catalog either. But um, other than that, I, I think you're gonna like the new catalog, but you know what? We've still got six weeks or so with this, this current catalog to buy the heck out of it. So if you have any questions about that, re I emailed the retiring list or the last chance list out to my customers today. So if you get that, be sure and check it out. If you have any questions, contact me. If you're not on my email list but would like to be, let me know. I can get that out to you too. Um, and I guess the other new thing, I guess that I'll share real quickly at Stampin' Up! is our Stampin' Storage. S on April 1st, it was available for purchase and Stampin' Up! came up with a new storage system to help for storing ink pads, and the stamp and write markers, and, and they're able to store together. Now, I didn't purchase that because I've got an, I'm okay right now with the current system I have, but then they also have storage for the blends. But that I did buy because I was very annoyed with having to find the mate for my particular uh, um, blend that I was wanting to use. But those came while I was gone on stage. I put those together. And I thought I would try to show you that real quick here. Um, let me see if I can turn this around. I'm going to show you my blends um, storage right here. It's it's the white. Whoops, everything's backwards here. So right now we've got all of our current blends here and here. And then I I bought a third set to make room for those that are coming. Those six new sets of blends and then this is just an open um, cubby that I can use for some sorry it's hard to it's backwards in my camera so I really am liking the new the new storage at least for my blends I don't know at this point that I'm gonna get the storage for the stamp pads but it's really nice because the stamp pad and the accompanying stamp and write marker they store together right like that so they're always at hand now the it doesn't it basically fits the new pads not the old ones they fit in there but not so well but um so those are some of the things we learned about it on stage and again i can't show you the cat inside the catalog but if you're one of my if you're in the u.s and you don't have a demonstrator you'd like a catalog Get in touch with me, I can get one out to you. If you are my customer, let me know that you do want one so I make sure to have one for you. I don't have anything else for right now. I hope you like the cute little Easter card we put together. And please, if you share it, you might just get the card sent to you. And you might have to wait till next year to send it since Easter will be over by then. But um, I wanna thank you all for stopping by. And um, have a great Easter. I'll see you all next week, next Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stampin' with Denise. Bye now.